Megan, I'd love to know what bits you use on your horses for show jumping and your favourite bits to use on horses for show well, jumping. Well, show jumping, I try to keep, keep the same as dressage. Yes. Um, we only change it up if they're a bit stronger and need a bit bit more. Um, so again, like, oh, there's a Waterford bit, so I, I have a few of these at home, a, a snaffle version of it, a yes. little Dutch gag version of that and it's a really small Dutch gag to yes, the water but they're really, really really small and neat yep. which I love and then just an FM version Beautiful. as well um, to make them turn a little bit a bit more. Um, sure. Waterfords are definitely a a bit the horsey that loves yes. or hates and Correct. you put, sort of put it in their mouth they kind of spit it out or they go mm, it's quite nice they suck on it and it, it looks evil. Yes. It just, it, oh God, what do you mean? But actually it's not, it just moulds over their tongue. It, it moulds to the mouth. They can play with it and pick it up and chew it. and They can move it to where it's most comfortable in their mouth. Exactly. Because it's so fluid and so movable. Exactly. And the only thing that we sell them, they might love it, but it might pinch them on the side because of the rings there. Yes. But then the new bit rings, these little ones that come yep. in on the inside there now seem yep. to alleviate that. Yeah. And, uh, and because for jumping you can have bit guards on so yes, it's so all good. That's the Acavallo yeah. gel bit guard and it's also yep. really useful in a place where you don't have a full cheek available it just gives them that um, pressure on the side of the face to help them turn around as well. Yeah absolutely but no, that's, the, that's worked really well and they're easy to get on as well. Yes <laughs> they're easy really stretchy. They are fantastic. <laughs> they're so stretchy and no lovely. More boiled water and hoof picks. Exactly oh, I've done so many of those. I tried one with boiled water and some hay band yes. and it tore straight through oh. one of them ages ago. I'm like, oh, whoops, no, that didn't work. The Acavalli gel bits are a godsend. They so I really, highly recommend them for every type really of They really are amazing. Um, and then one bit I've just tried recently, I had a horse that was very, very sensitive um, in the mouth. Well, not sensitive, I could put her tongue out, but I think from racing, she's been over in temporary tongue tie potentially, yes. but it's not on her racing yes. record as that. So, but I think at some point she's been tongue tied. Sure. Is this bomb a bit? Um, I'm not exactly what it's called. But <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the DC Morgan. Okay, so. Can I hold that for you there? I can. Again, used with a Michelin bridle. I love these bridles. People think they're for horses with issues. I use them with all my horses, no issues. Correct. There's no pressure on their teeth, on the side, and their molars there. So really, why wouldn't you put it on the Absolutely. horse? Absolutely. It's just you the know? most comfortable bridle you can get for your horse. So whether it's got issues or not, we yep. all want our horses to be the most comfortable they can be. Absolutely, so I love them. So this bit is really funky. So the whole mouthpiece kind of spins around so the horse can put this wherever it wants to be obviously you don't put it in the mouth with the with tongue lift it down <laughs> be careful of that but this just they can move it around wherever they want um, the side moves when you pull on the rein the side moves this little bit ring up here where the cheek strap goes almost everything is really flexible um, it's legal for dressage but without a little half ring in there so you can use this in dressage without that but then if you want to jump in it you put your rein through this ring and it gives you a little bit of a, a leverage action there without changing the bit on their tongue though so you can really put this on a slightly strong really sensitive horse and I think it will actually work really really well so I'm quite excited about trying this on a few other horses which are currently on break that I want to have a a go with but um no looking yeah. forward to that and this one's in the bomber blue mouthpiece too oh, yep. so it's the nylon composite so it's not a soft flexible rubber but it is a non-metal bit so it just increases bit acceptance for those really sensitive horses it's warm too yeah, isn't it it's really warm in the really mouth warm, just yeah. something for them to suck on and think about and you know just a bit more nicer for those really sensitive types yeah but no liking this bit so far really am Fantastic. really liking it a lot <laughs> That, so yeah. it happens, yeah, so it's just from playing with bits and, and seeing everything and watching the horse and feeling them, um, you just, you finally get that, just that right 
Absolutely. Mix of bits for them, combination. Absolutely, and you know, resistance is a score that a lot of people struggle with, particularly when it comes to their horse's bits. So yes. having that sort of, you know, acceptance is really, really important. Important, mm -hmm. and also the people are already aware that the horse's mouth can't be open, yes. but it is allowed to be. Like the dressage judges are getting better now understanding if the mouth is open a bit, but there's no tension through the back, mm -hmm. it's not, the mouth's not open because the back's tense, you yes. know, it's just because it's all that resistance. horse is just, that's where they go, they're light in the mouth, yes. you still got a contact, they're still engaged, yes. that bit of opening doesn't mean you've got to jam that noseband tighter. Exactly. You know? And makes it worse, they're going to fight against even harder. They can yeah. become claustrophobic and even more resistant Absolutely. Um, to the hand and you know, then they do start to tighten up over the back and not use their hind end properly. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, yeah. So Megan, we'd love to know what you use on your young horses or horses that are just coming into work from the breakers. Well, there's um, lots of bits we can use, obviously. Uh, we we do tend to put a bit with the FM cheeks mm -hmm. on them. Um, this one is a, a sweet iron bit, again, so it makes them want to suck on it and salivate. It is a single joint, but it is shaped, you yes. know, so I'm not personally a fan of the single jointed bits, um, but we can just start them with that um, sweet iron and it's got that curve there yes. and then move them on to um, other bits from there. So I have lots of different sweet irons here, one with a little French link in it, one with a KK link in it, all loose string ones. But again, the loose string right from the start can be a bit too much movement for them sometimes. Yes. So then um, we can start them, if I find that they feel too fussy in that, the D-ring Myla is awesome. Again, it's got the little side cheeks on it, similar to our FM there, but again, it doesn't crank down like a nutcracker action of yes. a, a um, single joint, and they can move the bit around to where they find it comfortable. So, um, and again, people think, oh, it's really thin, but they just broke it in. They don't want a great big, yeah. thick bit in the mouth, like, a great big dummy in there, and it makes them uncertain and it does. Un yeah. unhappy. Um, a bit that is too thick, that doesn't fit in the mouth, is far worse than a bit that is too thin and can to be sharp. Yep. So that's a really important point to remember when you're breaking a new young horse. Very, very important. With a bit why I like um, with the um, nave bits, uh, because they come thinner in the centre as well yes. as the tongue, um, it, just, it just is nicer for them as opposed to like the truss bit is great but sometimes horses find the truss bit you know it's got that tongue really thick, bit thick for them yes. you know which is why the bomber flexible one is a great alternative now yes. for the dressage um and really excited to hear that we can get the bomber flexible mullen made in any thickness as well so oh, it's really wow. customizable which is really awesome that's fantastic i didn't know that that's fantastic <laughs> that's wonderful but again we put the nave bits on the one which are really sensitive and yeah. um nave bit and then um a cavison to start with, a loose yes. cavison on them, not tighten their teeth, not the micklem, yep. to shut on the chin, it's a cavison and just let them find their way around exactly. the bit, you keep, know. Keep it simple, yeah, really. Yeah, very simple, let the tongue go where it wants to go and I let the bit be a little bit lower than you would normally put it in their mouth so yes. they can hang there and they can, they can flick it around. They and can pick it up then and, and yep. learn to take contact. That's yep. a really, really good tip. Yeah, really, really, really nice. They, they are much happier as Absolutely. well. Much, much happier. But definitely don't want to be tightening their noses down. And, no. no. And even if, if they're fussy and playing with it, you, you give them time, you yep. know, and, and give them time to learn how to move their hindquarters around, push forward, and then one day after, couple of months they're like into the hand you're like oh that yeah. worked that was nice rather than trying to force it from the front first um, but again the, the turtle bit is really good too for them yes. um, but again if you find there's too much movement and they're really flicking it then we go to a, a um, mother mouth with a d-wing with a um, mylar or a and they, or that bottom bit where it's really stable in the mouth, they're not flicking yes. it too much. There is a point where they can't flick it around too much and chat their head. You want it to be really stable. Exactly. So you get to sort of, if you're, not, if you're confused about that, then you just ask your coach or find someone who's had experience with that to um, to do, decide whether it's time to change to a really, really soft bit. Or you just, 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 just put it in and try it. You'll be surprised. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And sometimes yeah. the things that we think aren't going to work, your horse absolutely loves. Yeah. Um, so it's really important to have an open mind and try those bits that you wouldn't normally try and just see if it makes a difference. 100%.